Happy Monday, everyone. Today is Monday, December, I'm not even gonna lie, I think it's the 30th, I have no idea. I haven't been off work for two weeks. I don't know what day it is, what time it is, what country I'm in. I think I'm in the US, but I don't know. What state I'm in, I've been traveling. I just got back home to um, my state of residence, a metropolitan DC area. Um, so I know I'm back in my own home after traveling for a few weeks, but that's about all I know. I do know one other thing, some energy that I've been picking up. Um, we're doing our weekly Chakra Inside Oracle. Just gonna give everyone some tips and guidance from the universe on how do we touch in with our chakras to be our best selves. Um, if you're not familiar with the energetic body, um, I'm going to talk you through it really quickly using the cards. So, our chakra system is a seven based energetic system that runs through our body, starts at the base of our spine and our feet all the way up through the top of our head, through our crown chakra. Our bottom chakra is our root chakra, our ability to um, be safe within our home and our finances, or feeling safe within our home and our finances. Our next is our sacral chakra, our ability to be in touch emotionally, as well as tapping into our creative energy. Our solar plexus chakra, which is yellow, kind of hard to see with the glare, the yellow cards, is our house of willpower. So how do I assert my power? Okay. Next is our heart chakra, located in our chesticles area, or chesticle, or chest, but I call it chesticles. Obviously our heart, our ability to give and receive love, things that keep our, our heart chakra out of balance is grief. So keeping note of that and guilt, grief and guilt. Our throat chakra, being able to speak our divine truth. Who are we here on, um, who are we and why are we here on this earth in this time and space to be our best selves, fulfilling our sacred contracts. Next is our third eye chakra in the middle of our forehead, right above our, um, right around our brow line. Our ability to receive information from the universe using our intuition. And lastly is our crown chakra um, above the head. Um, our ability to, create, uh, to connect with the universe. So that's our chakra system. You guys know I use my beloved Chakra Insight Oracle deck for um, Carolyn Sangster. I absolutely love this deck. So we're gonna pull three cards. Um, last week, I when we did the reading, it was um, solar plexus chakra. So how are we asserting our willpower? Next was our throat with our creativity. And then last was... Um, our emotions um, and feelings, I believe, was the card. So how are we in touch with our feelings? How are we using our creative um, power in our world? And um, how are we speaking our divine truth and being creative with that? So let's touch in, pull three cards today. It's going into the new year. What does the universe want us to know going into the new year? What does it want us to know going into the new year? What is it trying to tell us? maybe about how to set some of our intentions. I know I'm having a vision board party with a couple friends um, here in the next two couple days to kind of set our New Year's intention. Um, I just went and bought a whole bunch of the traditional food. Um, side note, I don't cook, I'm not a good cook, but I have started this tradition a couple years ago where I do the traditional um, collard greens, black eyed peas um, situation. So I'm definitely doing that and I just bought all my food. So as I'm prepping, how does the universe want us to prep going into the new year? So three cards that I pulled, a um, lot of solar plexus chakra, so responsibility. Next is our third eye chakra with visual visualization. And last is physical health, that makes a lot of sense going into the new year, talking about new year, new me. So let's break each one of these cards down individually. We're gonna start with responsibility, okay, with our third, I'm sorry, with our solar plexus chakra. So self-discipline, empowerment, reliability, and fulfillment. How are we taking responsibility for ourselves? Did we get any learning lessons from 2019? And if so, what are we taking with us into 2020? Um, a big theme 
that a lot of my um, friends in one of my warrior groups was talking about 2019 was accountability, holding others accountable. I feel that accountability is also holding ourselves accountable. You cannot hold anybody else accountable until you hold yourself accountable. And that comes from personal responsibility, our self-discipline, our empowerment, our reliability and um, fulfillment. How are you going to be more responsible for yourself in 2020? Are you going to have more days where you rest? Are you going to take responsibility and accountability for finances? Are you going to take responsibility and accountability for standing up for yourself or for maybe not being so aggressive, maybe being a little bit more humble since we're in our solar plexus chakra, which is our home for accountability and for willpower? How are we going to use our willpower to be more responsible in 2020? Okay. Next, visualization. I pull this card often um, with clients. And it's, so I have one particular client every time we've done these oracle cards, which has been about three to four times now. She keeps getting visualization and it cracks, us, it cracks me up because I'm like, well, there's a lesson here. We're not kidding. Um, visualization is about imagination focus, experience, manifestation. Vision boards are um, important because it helps you visualize what you want. When you're setting goals, writing it down is one step, but actually taking the moments to meditate on it so you can manifest it. What does it look like? What does it smell like? What does it taste like? One of the best visualization practices I learned early on um, for myself and now I take it on with my clients is doing a actual five senses meditation if I'm when I'm setting intentions um, perfect example when I moved a couple months ago I said what does this move look like what does it feel like when I'm in my new city what are some of the foods that I think I'm gonna taste and experience um, how does it feel when the different climate how's it gonna feel on my skin um, what are some things that I can touch? Is there going to be, you know, different kind of grass? And really kind of went through and visualized all of my senses being activated in this new area. So this is a call when you're setting your goals, resolutions, intentions, whatever you want to call it for 2020. They will be more successful if you take a moment to, to meditate and actually visualize what it is that you want and seeing yourself having it. Are you successful? Is it what you want? Because sometimes what we think we want is not quite in line with um, the universe's plan for us. And we can actually tap into that by doing a good visualization meditation. So is this what I want? Can I see it? Can I touch it, smell it, taste it? Can I visualize my life the way I want it to be? And last but not least, I believe we've pulled this card before. It's physical health. I'm going to cover up her cha-chas. Um, for those of you who may be watching this with children, physical health is a great, great, great card and a great reminder for 2020. Are we taking the best care of our physical health? Um, are we really, go ahead and get that gym membership, but not only get that gym membership, please go after January 28th. <laughs> Keep it up through 90 days through your March. Um, go ahead and buy those vitamin supplements because your body needs it. Please go ahead and rest. I had one New Year's Eve or New Year's Day where I slept half the day. And when I tell you, I realized throughout the year how tired I was because and how I wasn't giving myself enough rest and holding myself accountable for making sure I rest. I am I'll run and burn and and never stop and that's part of something I have to take responsibility for for my physical health and I had to visualize and actually do it what did it feel like to actually give myself rest and it was amazing and I've taken that and I keep it going um, every year that's one of my little things that I'm gonna do is tapping into my phys my physical health and making sure I get enough rest that was a really long story to tell you but how important it is to tap into your physical health. So if we're gonna tell all of these in this story. Actually, let's swap, swap these back. We're gonna take responsibility for ourselves in 2020. It's a lot of self-discipline so we can feel empowered. So we make sure that we are reliable, not just to our, um, our family, but to ourselves, so we can feel more fulfilled. All about that willpower and taking responsibility. 
in order to create the life we want, we've got to visualize it, okay? We've got to use our imagination. We've got to focus. Part of meditation isn't sitting in silence, but it's also sitting and focusing on one single thing um, very purposefully. That's meditation. So we can create an experience that will manifest itself in our lives when we do that visualization practice. And one of the things that we need to visualize is physical health. How do we feel? What are things that we need to do for 2020 to physically be our best and feel our best? Um, if you don't have your mental health, you don't have your physical health. If you don't have physical health, it's really, really challenging to have your mental health on point. So that's where we are. Um, Thank you so much for tuning in. If you want to um, go more in depth with these cards or do your own reading, um, please just reach out. Um, you can go to my website, which is redlentilhealing.com, um, or you can email me at redlentilhealing at gmail.com. We can um, set up an appointment. Follow um, on YouTube. <laughs> please subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you liked this video, you can also check out some more um, Chakra Insight Oracles. Also have some tarot readings that I do, as well as sound meditation. So please subscribe, click the check the subscribe button. Um, until the next video, be kind to yourself. Please take um, be kind to yourself, love yourself, hug yourself, and be nice and kind and hug others. Have a great one.